Hello, everyone. Welcome and Merry Christmas. Welcome to St. Teresa of Calcutta Parish as we celebrate the Eucharist on the Nativity of the Lord. Celebrating with us tonight is Father Brandt and assisting him is Deacon Lou. Our entrance hymn today is found in the Breaking Bread Book, number 91. Hark the Herald Angels Sing, number 91. Please join us. We gather as a faith community today to be able to celebrate the wonderful gift of Jesus coming to our world and coming into our lives. Today as we gather with so many young children in our community, our Mass today is being offered for all the children within our parish. So let us begin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, your mighty God and Prince of Peace, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Son of God and Son of Mary, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth we to people of goodwill. Christ with 
Let us pray. O oh God, who gladden us year by year as we wait in hope for our redemption, grant that just as we joyfully welcome your only begotten Son as our Redeemer, we may also merit to face him confidently when he comes again as our judge, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. For Zion's sake, I will not be silent. For Jerusalem's sake, I will not be quiet. Until her vindication shines forth like the dawn and her victory like a burning torch. Nations shall behold your vindication and all the kings your glory. You shall be called by a new name, pronounced by the mouth of the Lord. You shall be a glorious crown in the hand of the Lord, a royal diadem held by your God. No more shall people call you forsaken or your land desolate, but you shall be called my delight and your land espoused. For the Lord delights in you and makes your land his spouse. And a young man ma marries a virgin, your builder shall marry you. And as a bridegroom rejoices in his bride, so shall your God rejoice in you. The word of the Lord. my chosen one I have sworn to David my servant forever will I confirm your prosperity and establish your throne through all generations forever I will sing the goodness of the Blessing the people who know the joyful shout. In the light of your countenance, O Lord, they walk. At your name they rejoice all the day. And through your justice they are exalted. Forever I will sing the goodness of He shall say of me, you are my father, my God, the rock, my savior. Forever I will maintain my kindness toward him, and my covenant with him stands firm. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When Paul reached Antioch in Pisidia and entered the synagogue, he stood up, motioned with his hand, and said, Fellow Israelites, and you others who are God-fearing, listen. The God of this people Israel chose our ancestors and exalted the people during their sojourn in the land of Egypt. With uplifted arms, he led them out of it. Then he removed Saul and raised up 
David as king. Of him he testified, I have found David, son of Jesse, a man after my own heart. He will carry out my every wish. From this man's descendants, God, according to his promise, has brought to Israel a savior, Jesus. John, heralding his coming, and by proclaiming a baptism of repentance to all the people of Israel. And as John was completing his course, he would say, what do you suppose that I am? I am not he. Behold, one is coming after me. I am not worthy to unfasten the sandals of his feet. The word of the Lord. from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. In those days, a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that the whole world should be enrolled. This was the first enrollment when Quirinius was governor of Syria. So all went to be enrolled, each to his own town. And Joseph too went up from Galilee, from the town of Nazareth to Judea, to the city of David that is called Bethlehem because he was of the house and family of David, to be enrolled with Mary, his betrothed, who was with child. And while they were there, the time came for her to have her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son. She wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. Now there were shepherds in that region living in the fields and keeping the night watch over their flock. The angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were struck with great fear. The angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I proclaim to you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. For today, in the city of David, a Savior has been born for you, who is Christ, Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You will find an infant wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was a multitude of the heavenly host with the angel praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to those on whom his favor us. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Deacon Lou just got done proclaiming the great gospel story that we hear about Christmas, how Mary and Joseph had to go to Bethlehem. And while they were there, Mary gives birth to Jesus in a manger. A manger is like a shed where animals live. And obviously, that's where the animals were when Mary and Joseph got there and Mary gave birth to Jesus. And so they're in this manger, as we have depicted over here on the left-hand side of our altar, and we have the cow, and we have the donkey, and we have the sheep. There's a lot of other animals there also, too. But these animals, they were, they were really excited because Jesus was born right there in front of them. So they were very important because Jesus was right there in front of them. They had front row seats to this. But as excited as they were about this, sometimes they started to argue about who was the most important. And the donkey said, I have the strong breath that keeps the baby Jesus warm on the cold nights, so I'm the most important. And the cow says, I can give the baby Jesus milk to keep his stomach full and so keep him from getting hungry. 
So I'm the most important. And the sheep says, I've got all this great heavy wool that keeps me warm. And we can make a blanket to put on baby Jesus to keep him warm. So I'm the most important. And here they are in this most important time when Jesus is being born right in their midst. And they're fighting. They're arguing over who is the most important. Because they keep on thinking that they are the most important of all the animals that are there in the manger. But when Jesus looks up at them, he thinks it's kind of silly that they're fighting over who's the most important. Because the important thing was, when Jesus looks at each of them, he looks at the donkey and says, the donkey does have that beautiful, strong breath that keeps me warm. He's giving me everything that he can. And, the cow, and he looks up at the cow and he says, yes, the cow is giving me milk to keep me full. And so the cow is giving me the best that he has, everything he has. And then the little sheep that are there with the wool on them, Jesus looks at them and says, it is kind of chilly out here. And that wool makes a nice blanket to keep me warm. This sheep is giving me everything he has the best that he can. So as much as they were fighting among themselves, as who was the best and who's the most important and who does the better job, when Jesus looks up at them, all he can see is them doing their best for him. And so when we gather this evening to celebrate this wonderful gift of Christmas, we are like the animals that Jesus comes to us in a very special way. And we have a very important position because we know that Jesus comes to us and that he's here with us. And the reality is too, we realize that sometimes we might be like those silly animals in the manger and fight over and think about one of us is more important than another. This one gets better grades, this one plays better sports, this one sings better, all these other things. But Jesus remains the same. Just like he did for each of those animals in the manger, he looks up at all of us. And all he really wants us to do is to do our best, to give our best gifts to him, to give our best gifts to one another. And if we give our best to Jesus and to one another, then he will look at us like he looked at the animals and realize we're all important to him as long as we do our best. Please stand for a profession of faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. As we celebrate the newborn king, let us place our prayers before our loving Father. For the church, may God bless her efforts to share the good news of Christ's birth with others. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For leaders of nations, may the gospel message of peace influence their work for justice in the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the sick and the dying, may God comfort them and bless their caregivers. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For each of us gathered here today, may the Holy Spirit help make a place in our hearts to welcome the Christ child. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died, especially Michelle Brewster and Robert Kuczynski, may they find eternal rest and joy in the presence of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving Father, in the birth of your only Son, we share in your eternal life.
On this holy day, hear our prayers and answer them according to your will. We ask this through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We'll have one collection today. Our hymn for the presentation of the gifts is number 94 in your Breaking Bread book, What Child Is This? Number 94. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O oh Lord, as we look forward to the coming festivities, may we serve you all the more eagerly for knowing that in them you make manifest the beginnings of our redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit, lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in the mystery of the Word made flesh, a new light of your glory has shone upon the eyes of our mind, so that as we recognize in him God made visible, we may be caught up through him in the love of things invisible. And so with the angels and archangels, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. 
Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of the death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Giving thanks, you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Nelson, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, the kingdom, kingdom and the power and the glory, glory are yours now, now and, and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other some kind of sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. as one who serves the bread of life, hope of the world, Jesus Christ, our brother, feed us now, give us life, lead us to one
We want to thank Santa for stopping by. Well, he has a busy night, but he decided to stop by to visit baby Jesus in the manger here in our church this evening. So, of course, he's got a lot to do, but we thank him for stopping by. And, of course, today we celebrate Jesus' birthday. And since we have a birthday in the house, we need a birthday cake. So how about that? So we have a birthday cake here. Thank you. When you stop coughing. Happy, there we go. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy, Happy birthday, dear Jesus. Happy birthday to you. We need a volunteer to blow out the candles. Anybody wants to blow out the candles? Who wants to? You want to blow out the candles? <laughs> okay, come on up. You can come up. <laughs> J 
She has to wave to her fans. <laughs> Okay, you can take your mask down so you can blow up the candles, okay? One, two, three, blow. Yay! Congratulations. And since Father Pigeon and I can't eat this cake, we're gonna send it home with one of our family shoes here. So we're gonna pull out the collection envelope and call the name. But the trick is, is that you have to be present to win. Yeah, mom and dad, grand, adults got that. And our winner today are Mr. and Mrs. Bill Conaway. So I know Mrs. Conaway is here, so we'll be able to send that home with them. Thank you very much. Thank you, what a nice job. Let us stand and pray. O oh Lord, grant that we may draw new vigor for celebrating the nativity of your only begotten Son, by whose heavenly mystery we receive both food and drink, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. And of course, in this wonderful time of the year, we're very grateful for the many blessings that we receive throughout the year. And as a parish, we're very grateful for all of those who minister uh, every week here at church, our liturgical ministers, our ministers, our lectors, our Eucharistic ministers our ministers of hospitality, our altar servers, our music ministry, of course, especially this time of year, those who have assisted in decorating our church so beautifully for the celebration of Christmas. And like there's not enough in one day to do things, we just want to recognize and acknowledge Austin Mitchell, who's serving his first mass tonight. Because of that, there you go. Thank you, Austin. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Have a great Christmas. Our recessional hymn is Joy to the World, number 80 in the Breaking Bread book. If you need the words, Joy to the World. Be ready, everybody. Merry Christmas. <laughs>